everybody, welcome to the next commentary playing uh, Aurelian Soul mid lane versus Talia. I'm trying out a different build, or I guess rune and build. Um, there, I saw yesterday when I was watching some of the China super server streamers, uh, there was an Aurelian Soul inside one game, and this is the runes that he took. So I'm just kind of testing it out, seeing if I like it or not. Um, I mean, it gives you more damage. The Relentless Hunter, I mean, that's what you take when you use Electrocute. And then you go the Presence of Mind, and then you just rush Lyandries. That's what he did when he played. Um, so yeah. You rush the Lyandries instead of going a Rod of Ages or a uh, Rylai's, and then you just have a lot of damage, really. I mean, it, it increases your damage by far more than any other item. Is it effective? I don't know. This guy went sweeper, by the way. I think we'll go for just the first push. I wonder if I can fake putting down a ward and then she'll sweep. That'd be pretty good for us to do. We're both completely even so far. I'm actually just gonna ward this now. I can probably protect this ward to be honest. Kinda fine just going even. I still like Aurelian Soul once he re like reaches level 7. top. No idea where my mid laner went. Oh, she won't bot. Well, Graves will be able to get that scuttle no matter what because of that. Should be able to kill her, right? Yeah. Did Graves have flash? Now he has ignite. Oh, no wonder. He's gonna kill literally everybody here, isn't she? Damn, how is she? Oh, no. Whatever. She has no flash. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly back because I used all my corrupting potions when she first came. I shoved it in all the way, so...
Nice Q. Holy shit. My teammates barely survived all of that, but they, they did it, so well played. <laughs> I should have been able to clean it up in case any of them died. I wanted to just shove out mid first, mainly because I wanted level 6. So at least when I arrive bot, I have my ulti in case somebody gets really, really low. Hmm, is he just dead? Can't kill her, but at least we got Nidalee, I guess. Oh nice, he just kills her. He knew that she was coming, I think, on like this ward or something, so... Oh yeah, the Nidalee is frogging. I guess I never mentioned that, but... This is frogging in the plain Nidalee jungle. Bot lane's popping off. Easy dub, right? Yo, somebody should go top. I would have been able to get back mid just fine, guys. And help out with the dragon. Well, she's slow pushing it rather than fast pushing, so I guess it's not too bad still. Wait, how did my E get cancelled here? Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I would have killed him if he was oh, still 5, but he leveled up. Oh, I actually got hit by something which has made my E go on cooldown. It wasn't... Oh, okay. Of course, it wouldn't have really done anything there. They already fucked. Maybe I could have ultied Talia. Like, off of her wall as she was going. That'd be pretty sick. It should be a one fight. Okay. 
Okay. I wanted Yasuo to be in range of the Talia, so just like an insect, you can do the same thing with the Relian Soul. So I ultied and then I buffered the ulti by flashing. And uh, ultied her into my um, Yasuo there, just to make sure that she would uh, be able to get damaged by him. Because I can't kill her 1v1. Even if I ultied her like here, and then cued her, I still wouldn't be able to kill. It, it requires two of us. I'm not that strong. Oh, oh. Okay, I'm gonna just top here. Uh, I'm gonna go top because my Yasuo was dead. So I just want to make sure she doesn't go for tower too hard. I just shoved in mid, so I shouldn't miss too much here. Dude, I really am out of mana. Or like, my ulti is like just about to come back up here, and I just want it. Wow, that sucks that, uh, <laughs> he didn't get his thing there. His, uh, Pykar. That sucks. Oh! Man, I literally had three more seconds for my ulti to kill the Camille, but I had nothing left. Oh well. The fights are still going in our favor pretty significantly. She came up top, I guess, to try to help her. Um... Dude, I don't know if you can kill. I don't know if this guy has enough, enough damage. Oh, does he? Holy shit, that was insane damage there. Dude, he chunked that Lulu. I mean, she's really, really weak, but still. Would have missed that. Hey, Lulu was just top and she used her ults, no? So maybe I can just go bot and dive. No way, I missed my ult? But it's okay, because my team's still winning. I mean, I still deal a ton of damage, but I wish I didn't miss that. I'm gonna die. I needed somebody else to tank. <laughs> I already used my Q, so I was like kind of committed already for it. Uh, that was a mistake by me. If I landed my ulti, I would have probably been able to just one-shot her straight up, I think. And also, I guess Lulu didn't use her ulti top because she just used it here, so I was just wrong about that. I just wasn't paying enough attention top lane. This guy is up a lot of CS. Like, top lane isn't really, in my opinion, winning. Like, we did help him a lot, and also we lost tower top. I'm, like, somewhat even winning now, maybe, just because I have a pretty good CS lead and I'm up two levels as well, so I guess I'm winning now. I was not winning earlier, we just got... After she died bot, that was really good for me because she missed entire mid wave because she it was a play and she didn't get anything out of it and gave a shutdown towards our team. So I should be able to beat her 1v1 to be honest. The only way that I lose is uh, when you play versus Talia, the main thing that's going to get you killed is the, um, the W. If you get hit by the W, you're pretty boned. You take a ton of damage from her EW combo thing. So as long as I don't get hit by that, there should be no way for her to really kill me. If I had a phase rush, I guess I could chase her down a lot easier, though. It's not very easy to chase her down. Can I just find her here with my E and just fight? Or will she just GOP and stop me and then I just waste it? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I'll just... Okay, so I'll push up faster than her. So there will be a new wave like this one coming... Uh, 
towards them. I'm pushing very quickly because I pushed it on their side of the map. So I was hitting the creeps really early. So maybe I can look for a quick roam or something before she can do anything. Okay, well, that was a fucking mistake, I guess. It sucks that he didn't get the reset. I was hoping that he would be able to kill beforehand. Nice, the Camille went overstepped too hard. And yeah, the Tully got there way too fast, so that was just a mistake. Even if I flash, I'm pretty sure I was boned. Hey, that guy used Flash. I want... Stopwatch, I guess? I mean, I already deal enough damage. Okay, they can defend mid, right? I mean, there's so many people there, so I'll just go bot here. I probably can't get her in time, so I'm not even gonna bother trying. I still want to make a similar play, to be honest. What does she have now? She's going Lyandry's. Okay, she has to shove out that wave once again. Okay, nice. Good steal. Polly can't get that guy, but now we can just do uh, the dragon because uh, she was pretty chunked there, so there'd be a pretty low chance of contesting it. That guy has no flash, so I mean, she's just dead. She went such a risky way, having no flash. It was kind of weird that she did that. Also, Lula had no ulti. We saw her uh, ulti the Nidalee there. I'm just going to shove out. If a fight starts mid, I'll just rotate with my E here. I want to shove it in all the way so they miss some creeps. Okay, cool. That should be enough. Then land it. Okay, whole entire wave is cleared. They're just trying to siege super hard because some of our players were pretty low there. Gonna go for a Oblivion Orb is for more damage with the double pen. I'm guessing. Yeah, so we'll go bot here. I'm gonna go top actually, since she's going top. I have 40 more CS than this uh, Talia. Ashley, I'll be fine. Depending on the game, you're gonna play differently, by the way. I'm really playing hard side lane here just because, like, 
I can go side lane and I'm pretty safe versus Leah. Maybe in a different game I wouldn't be doing this and like something else, like maybe grouping more or whatever. So. Uh, a little bit of a limit test. I had a feeling I had the, enough damage and I did with Ignite. She just used her W and her, uh, her E there, so there was no chance of, like, big burst damage back towards me as I'm diving her, and all I did was the QR combo with, uh, Ignite. I am gonna help them with this, by the way. I don't know if he realizes that I I'm just, uh, backing, and then I can just do this. So I'll just come back with this. Okay. Wow, you are going pretty aggressive. <laughs> what the fuck? That guy just got shit on. We got it, right? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'm up three levels as well. I'm just gonna back off for now. Actually, I actually have no idea where uh, Camille is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> I'm gonna finish it. Why not? It's not even that bad of an item to just finish. What are we? Okay. Getting a little bit chunked. No stun there, unfortunately. Where I guess we're not worrying about the- okay, well, now I understand. Yes, it was here because of the dragon coming up. Now I get it. Makes sense. Holy shit, that was huge. I want this. Can I take this? Can Azrael even contest this? No. Nice. Nice team fight. Alright, they FF'd. I mean, my ball lane was really good, but you can see the power of Aurelian Soul with this build. I mean, and also, like, I'm not going Oom, but it it does, in my opinion, have, like, its weaknesses, right? I mean, you don't have the phase rush. I don't know if I like it, but, I mean, I definitely deal more damage just because the Electric proc does give a pretty good chunk of damage. And then you get to buy... I mean, with any Presence of Mind, you can go Phase Rush and Presence of Mind and still do this build path with the Landry's first item. So, uh... You don't have to do what I'm doing. Wow, I actually did most damage. That's... Hmm. I mean, I did do a lot, but... Uh... So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary and uh, enjoyed the, the awesome chat that was going on inside of my game. Um, feels decent, in my opinion. Uh, as soon as you get, like, these two items with the sorcerer shoes, I mean, you, you basically one-shot people. You can. And you can even kill people under tower, as you can see. And she wasn't too weak. I think she had these two items. What did I have? I probably had this, this, plus a stopwatch. Maybe I had a fiendish codex. But anyways, I just had two items, and I 100-0'd somebody under tower. Um... And I didn't even use two parts of my Q. It was, I think it was only one Q. Or I mean, one W for like rotation. So, I mean, the damage is definitely there. Um, so, yeah. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on the video. And I'll see you guys next time.